Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy video news update. I'm Stacy Schmidt. On the NYMEX, the price of oil has fallen to $95 a barrel, but Brent crude in London is trading above $115 a barrel. A recent report from the IEA upgrading global oil demand helped to push the price, although oil prices are considerably lower due to market uncertainty about the strength of the U.S. economy. While supply and demand fundamentals remain strong, economic indicators have shied investors away from crude oil, and Eurozone issues have further weakened the price of oil. In midstream news, U.S. natural gas pipeline company Energy Transfer Equity has signed a definitive merger agreement to acquire Southern Union Company for $7.9 billion, combining Southern Union's assets and companies, as well as Energy Transfer and its wholly owned subsidiaries Regency Energy Partners and Energy Transfer Partners. The new firm will own and operate more than 44,000 miles of natural gas pipelines and 30.7 cubic feet a day of transportation capacity. The Energy Transfer Southern Union merger will create the largest consolidated natural gas pipeline company in the U.S. In other pipeline news, the U.S. House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Energy and Power has approved a bill to help fast-track the construction of TransCanada's proposed Keystone XL pipeline. The North American Made Energy Security Act requires the Obama administration to issue a final order by November 1, 2011, on whether the Keystone XL pipeline can be built to transport oil from Western Canada to Texas. The bipartisan bill will now move to the full Energy and Commerce Committee for consideration. In addition to connecting growing North American oil production with domestic markets, the Keystone XL pipeline expansion is expected to create some 20,000 jobs during construction. In the U.S. Gulf of Mexico, an oil spill was reported in the Breton Sound offshore Louisiana. The U.S. Coast Guard mobilized 140 personnel, 43 vessels, and three aircraft to participate in the oil spill response. Oil mop was contracted to clean the mile-long oil slick, and 10,000 feet of hard boom and 5,000 feet of sorbent boom were deployed to protect the coastline. The slick quickly dissipated, and there has been no shoreline effect reported. The Coast Guard and Bomer continue to investigate to determine the source of the spill. A sample of the oily substance was collected and sent to a lab for analysis. Shell and Qatar Petroleum began production from the Pearl Gas to Liquids plant in Qatar, selling the first commercial shipment of GTL gas oil from the downstream development. The world's largest plant to convert natural gas into cleaner burning fuels, the Pearl GTL facility will produce 1.6 billion cubic feet of natural gas a day from the North Offshore field, which will be processed into 120,000 barrels of condensate, LPG, and ethane a day, as well as 140,000 barrels of gas to liquid products. U.S. independent ATP Oil and Gas has acquired three exploration and production licenses offshore Israel in the Mediterranean Sea. ATP has acquired the Shimshon, Daniel East, and Daniel West licenses and awaits approval for two other offshore licenses from the Israeli government. The company has contracted Transocean, Sedco Express, Deepwater Semi-Sub for drilling on the Shimshon license, and ATP is working to get approval for drilling and exploration plans on the other two licenses. Thank you for joining me this week for Penn Energy's weekly newscast. For these stories and more, go to penenergy.com. 